An occlusion is defined as relationship between all the components of masticatory system in normal function, dysfunction and parafunction. It develops right from birth and continues to change throughout the life. Hence, the time taken for occlusal development is divided into predentate or predental, decidivous, mixed or transitional and permanent. In this video, we shall see about gum pads, the structure which forms predental jaw relationship. Predentate or predental is a period that includes from birth to eruption of first deciduous tooth in oral cavity. The alveolar processes containing deciduous teeth are covered by thick mucous membrane called as gum pads. Generally, maxillary gum pad is horseshoe shaped and mandibular as wider U shape. Both gum pads are developed as two parts, labiobuccal and lingual portions, and are separated by a dental groove. The developing deciduous teeth present in individual segments of gum pads are demarcated by transverse grooves, where it gets prominent distal to deciduous canine in both the arches, and here it is called as lateral sulci. There is one more groove called as gingival groove, runs between upper gum pad and palate and lower gum pad and floor of the mouth. Though there is no fixed relationship between maxillary and mandibular gum pad, but usually maxillary gum pad is positioned well ahead resulting in increased overjet all around. They occlude usually at molar region leaving a prominent space in anterior called as an infantile open bite occupied by tongue which facilitates suckling. Occasionally teeth are found to be erupted in gum pads at the time of birth called as natal teeth or maybe during first month of age termed as neonatal teeth or pre erupted deciduous teeth appearing within 2 to 3 months of life and usually mandibular incisors erupt in these type of conditions. However, they are removed if there is any mobility or any ulceration in the mouth or nipple during suckling. Essentially, oral hygiene practice should be started as early as within first week of birth. The parents are instructed to lay the baby down with the head on their lap, then wiping vigorously over the ridge of baby's upper or lower jaw with the help of small gauze to remove the film that covers the gum pads. This should be done for 2-3 to three minutes every day twice after morning and night feed. Thanks for watching. Hope you will like my video. Please share, subscribe and comment.